2021 is coming to a close, and what do local businesses think of the present economic conditions, and what does that mean for their ad budgets in 2022? We'll find out in this episode. Corey's Local Marketing Minute is brought to you by iPublish Media. Increase new accounts and grow local ad revenue by delivering the types of campaign SMBs want to buy today. Learn more by visiting iPublishMedia.com or by emailing sales at iPublishMedia.com. And now, the shaman of local marketing, Corey Elliott. Our hardworking marketing department has asked me to do something, and that is point out where you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's right up here somewhere. It's awesome. You can see all the videos we've done, if you have trouble sleeping or something. Anyway, it's time for another BBB. What's that, you ask? It's the Burrell Business Barometer. I'm getting really fancy with my graphics now. Incidentally, if you have any freelance graphic work, Okay, every quarter we ask our local business panel the same series of questions and kind of gauge where their head's at when it comes to present economic conditions, what they think is going to happen, and how do they think it's going to affect their marketing. And here we are, end of 2021, what's on their mind? Well, let's find out. What's left of my hair is kind of fuzzier than usual, isn't it? Okay, so the first thing we ask them is about the present economic condition. Specifically, how would you characterize the current economic situation in the U.S. for sustaining a small business? Answers on the board. We'll go from smallest to biggest. 4% said excellent, 22% said good, 24% said poor, and 49% said fair. You add that up, you get 99%. 1% had no opinion. Side note, guys, if you take surveys, don't not have an opinion. You have an opinion. Anyway, what's interesting about this, and we fielded this in November. You know the last November we saw these kind of numbers? 29, 44, 31, and 0 was in November of 2016. Heck, you can make an argument that it was actually more pessimistic back then. 5% more said poor. Nobody said excellent. And here we are in 2021. Hmm. But this is their take on the present economic situation. What if they cast their minds out six months? What do they think then? And how does it affect their marketing? We ask them to think about the next six months in two ways. One, are the economic conditions going to get better or worse for a small business? And two, are you going to spend more or less on advertising? Instead of showing you all the numbers, I want to focus on one in particular. The percentage we said the economic conditions are going to get worse. 34%. One third of businesses out there say the next six months, yeah. that's not the worst we've seen in the pandemic. That was 71% back in March of 2020, but it's not pre-COVID levels. We're bouncing around. 20%-ish, it'd go up and down. Now, here's what's interesting. The percentage who said they're gonna spend less in the next six months, 15%. You know what the average was in the 10 surveys we did pre-COVID? 14.2%. And what about the spend more? And what do you think the average was in pre-COVID times? 30%. So, what does this mean, kids? Could it mean that 2020 and 2021 taught them something? That they need to still spend, even when economic conditions look dark? Because before, when things collapsed in on themselves in 2020, we did see a drawback in advertising. But now, we're still seeing a lot of skepticism about the future. But the plans to advertise are back where they were pre-COVID. Is this part of the new reality? But there could be a clue about what is changing their outlook if you ask them what's on their mind when it comes to advertising and marketing right now. Which we did, because we're just so damn clever. You know what? This was an open-ended question. I'm going to put the top five topics on the board. So we asked, what's on your mind related to advertising and marketing right now? Top five answers on the board. Ooh, we'll build suspense. Go five to one. Come again at number five. Hiring slash outsourcing. Can't find the right people or anyone. Number four. Inflation or higher costs. Number three, changing their media mix. Whatever they got going now might not be working. Number two, content slash messaging. What the heck do I say? And number one, planning challenges. Not a good sense of what's coming next, which goes back to how they see the upcoming six months. So this is what's swirling around their minds right now. A couple of notes. We talk about ROI a lot here. That actually dropped a little bit. Still in the top 10, but dropped a little bit. Oh yeah, which one of these five is a significantly higher concern than it was in August? Take your time, I'll wait. 
Content messaging, that has sprung up since August. There's one person in the retail trade category who gave us an open-ended answer that kind of sums up all of this. Listen to this. The question was, what's on your mind related to advertising and marketing right now? This person answered, difficult to know what and how to market when our cost for goods and labor continues to rise, so we're not sure what we will actually be making for margin until we actually receive the goods much later on. So planning challenges, because these things are starting to rise, makes me question what the heck I should be messaging and where I should be putting that message. It all ties together. So in review, still more pessimistic than in pre-COVID times about economic conditions, yet attitudes about marketing are back to pre-COVID levels, suggesting they understand they need to advertise, but these things are a challenge for them right now. Pretty informative, right? Want to be informed on a regular basis? Subscribe. See, I'm pointing to the thing I can't see. Why can't I see this? Is my fuzzy head in the way? I'm mostly bald, aren't I? You've been watching Corey's Local Marketing Minute, sponsored by our friends at iPublish Media. Learn more at iPublishMedia.com. And if a few minutes with Corey isn't enough, you can hear more of his insights on the Local Marketing Trends podcast. Just look for the podcast link on BorellAssociates.com.